Oh man, this is a real, real nasty place up here. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> it's like working in the 1980s! Most of us have worked a job. Many of us have worked an office job. The office job seems like it would be the most desirable, but sometimes those jobs can be rather hellish. What if the office was actually in hell? Office takes a look at this scenario in a fast-paced FPS puzzle platform. I was able to get a free copy from 43 Studios through Lurkit, a great site for content creators to get access to any titles to help provide exposure. Thank you 43 Studios and Lurkit for the free key. The art style is pretty colorful for a game based in hell and has a great design for certain characters. I say certain characters because most of the character models in the game are all the same. But, it is pretty forgivable because it gives an in-game reason as to why all of the employees look the same. The best models in the games are Mr. Stan, yes, they went with that joke, along with Mr. Stapley. I mean, look at this little guy. He has a very cute design to be such an awful boss. All of the floors have different themes, and you can tell the developers were having a lot of fun building this world. Especially when it came to the skins for the stapler that you use in the game and see often. There are all sorts of themes and a fan-made one from a contest, which I use throughout the most of the game. The sound design is done pretty well. The music is fantastic in this game. It seems like you will be hearing mostly metal. You know, the preferred genre of the devil. The devil the However, there is some variety of matching themes. Another great thing they have going for them is the chatting sound you hear from characters in the game. Which is a rare way of doing things, and I feel like a lot of indie devs have picked this up. Which isn't a bad thing, it certainly tickles the nostalgia neurons in my brain. You also get a nice sense of speed with the whooshing sound when you're dashing or going through wind tunnels. Whenever you burn down charts, there's a searing sound, and the explosions from your rocket jumps is great as well. They had some very talented sound designers working on this project. Hell of an office is like someone saw the platforming in Doom Eternal and was like, yeah, I want to make a game built around this, mixed with the idea of an office worker like Kung Fu Rider. The mechanics for the gameplay start out simple enough. As you progress through, it adds more on top of that simplicity. You start with only the ability to dash to platforms and in the air, along with rocket jumping to get to higher areas. Your rocket jump isn't just used for the floor. It can be used on floating platforms to keep your momentum up and progress through the course. When you perform an additional rocket jump off of a floating platform, it resets your dash and allows you to dash again in the air. The dash can also be used to stop gaining height from rocket jumping. The idea of the game is to get to the end of the course as the lava, or tar, or tomato soup rises too high, causing you to reset. These resets are very snappy, it doesn't take too long to get back to the action. Once you finish a course, you're given a medal from bronze to diamond. There is also a leaderboard showing you where you rank on a course. As you make your way through the different floors of the office, you'll be introduced to more mechanics to build upon and make the courses more complex. There are platforms that will disappear shortly after landing on it, and you're not able to rocket jump off of them. It adds urgency to try to move faster. You're shown charts that will block your path. You take care of these by shooting them with your stapler and burn them away. You can shoot them from a distance to take them out ahead of you, but depending on where you shoot them will cause it not to burn all the way and still block your path. It is best to shoot them in the center for a safe passage. The next mechanic that is introduced is wind tunnels. These will whisk you away and provide you with a dash reset. You're able to dash out of the tunnel and a lot of the time you'll dash into a different one going in a different direction. Depending on what's going on can sometimes make this feel a bit jarring. Then there are portals that can put you anywhere, which shows a little bit of what's on the other side to try and prepare what's coming up. Although with the frantic speed of this game, it's a little difficult to keep up with. As you continue, you are then given a tie with a promotion within the office. This allows you to have a grappling move that can be used when you see green hangers. 
You are able to use this a good distance away, and you know when you're able to when the crosshair is solid. Once you have all of that under your belt, the game then decides to start throwing in obstacles to the courses that they call traps. There is a variety of these traps you can encounter. There are protractors that act as plated pendulums, lasers from staplers, deadly pencils that are basically pikes, large wheel bases of office chairs that rotate, and lastly, saw bladed Simpsons pink donuts. These really add a lot to each course, but sometimes feel like the placements are a bit too difficult. This game does have a level editor, and I stayed away from it to not to run on things like this. There are giant pills that bounce you around and change your trajectory. These were used in a lot of fun ways, specifically when you were first shown these. There are soda streams that you slide on with great speed, which is a lot of fun as well. The last mechanic I encountered was wall running. I say the last that I encountered because this is when the game became a little bit too much for me. However, finishing a course that you have been stuck on for a bit feels rather satisfying. The game starts off with seemingly a normal interview for a position with Hello, but then takes a turn. You meet Mr. Stan and sign your contract, then drop into a pit of lava and take an elevator to the floor where you start working. You meet Mr. Stapley and take a stroll to your desk where you find your tool for the game, the stapler. This will be used for most of your movement through the courses. However, you do not have any staples to perform your work. You're given a task to go find a guy named Gary to get your staples. You are also told they make the office fun by playing the floor as lava when making your way to different floors. However, this is actual lava you're trying to avoid. This is pretty much how the game will play out. You explore the office while you're not going through courses. There's a lot to find within exploring these segments, and the game has a lot of humor. It made me laugh several times when I was looking around. Is that, like a, is that a literal Easter egg? <laughs> Not only are you able to find funny bits while you're trying not to get melted by lava, you're able to find some short side objectives to complete. You want a rubber duck? Yes. I'm, I'm guessing that's not really a thing, but could be. Ah, there was. Here you go, friend! There was this one recurring objective with this cardboard cutout that wants to be recognized and feel like its peers. You do this by finding flesh, taping it to the cutout. I couldn't find all the pieces, so I'm not sure what the outcome is when completing it. With completing side objectives, you unlock new skins for your staple to find the style that best suits you. You also unlock skins from completing all of the courses on a floor. As you're making your way through each floor, you will have 10 courses to complete per floor. You'll run through 5, have an intermission to explore more of the office, or it will be part of that course itself, while having new mechanics thrown in along the way. Each floor also provides the theme for the courses you'll be running through. This will keep you going to see what comes next. The frantic gameplay, the puzzle filled of the courses, and the sense of speed is all done very well. All wrapped up in the interesting idea of being an office building in hell. While providing a great amount of humor if you're willing to explore the floors while not trying to escape the lava. If you enjoy FPS games, platformers, or puzzle games, along with user-created levels, this will be a game to certainly check out.